Lockdown 2.6 introduces custom interpolation. In short, this will make it easy to track different body parts as a single mesh by letting you decide which body part extension points are attached to. Maybe you've had a similar situation with Lockdown where you've tracked some parts on the arm and on the body and you want to create some extension points so that way you can start framing the arm and using the whole arm as the surface. I actually have a lot more points tracked than this in the official demo video, but I just want to clear the screen a little bit to make it really easy to understand what this feature is. So anyway, if I wanted to frame up this arm here and create an extension point with Control, Alt, Shift, and Click, and then I make another one here, and another one here, and another one here, the intention would be to start building the mesh around the forearm. However, as we start moving, you'll notice that some of these points might behave well and some of them might not. So this point behaves well and let's see why. We have render guide point links on and it's attached to the wrist and to the elbow, that makes sense. This point behaves well, also attached to the wrist and the elbow. This point is attached to the hip, which makes precisely no sense. And this point is attached to the bicep, which also makes no sense. So here's the feature, custom interpolation. We can select this point, and then we can either press set custom points or just press the I key. And now this is going to turn white, just to remind you that it's been activated. Then you can select the points that you want to attach it to, and then you can just click off or press I again. And now you notice that this is attached to the wrist and to the elbow. And that's going to behave a lot better and a lot more predictably. We can do the same with this point here. So right here when you select it, you won't be able to see what it's attached to using the guide point links. That's because whenever it has an adjustment frame, that's a hard position and it doesn't need to be guided. However, when you move off of that key, then you'll see the points that it's depending on. So again, I'll press I, I'll select these points, press I again, and now it's attached. And that will start behaving a little bit better. And I can keyframe these as needed. Currently, when you press set custom points, if you select one point, so just for example here, I'm going to create a point, press I, and then select one point, and then click off. This is just going to follow by using position. So you can see that's just kind of attached exactly next to this point. If you select two points, like we saw in this example, it's going to use position, rotation, and scale for those two points. And if you select more than two points, then it's going to attempt to generate a planar motion from all of those points. I would recommend using two points as often as possible. So I've moved to my version of the project, which has a lot more going on here. And you can see that I've created all these extension points that follow where they're supposed to. And maybe this is probably easier if I shut off the grid, but actually in this case, this point is following the planar motion of all of these points of the arm because I found that did a really, really nice job just keeping it on track. Maybe the body is a better example of where I would create another extension point. So I'm going to create an extension point here. And because the default interpolation mode is position scale rotate, you'll see that it just attaches to two nearby points, which might not be too bad. But anyway, I can press I and then select the body because it feels like this would move as one unified plane. Press I again. And now you'll see that this is attached here. And it's just going to move pretty well following that as one object. The last thing to be aware of is that if you want to break custom interpolation for a point, so for example, this one is interpolated, you can just select the point and then press remove interpolation data. And you can do that with uh, multiple points at the same time, actually. So that's possible. And also, just for example's sake, if I wanted to create a handful of extension points here and I wanted to assign all these at the same time, I can select them and then press I and then select my two points or I don't know, my 20 points or whatever, and then click off. And then all three of these, so I'll select this, you'll see that's connected there, that's connected there, and that's connected there. So just thought I'd mention that in case it wasn't totally obvious. So there's the final result. Hopefully you can see that this tool will be very helpful and allow you to assign points exactly where they need to be. Thanks for watching. For more info, check out aescripts.com lockdown.